Hey guys, welcome back. Gavin and I are both traveling this weekend, so this video is gonna be a short one because we aren't able to film all week. So this week I wanna show you guys how we made or how I'm making these shaker style cabinet doors for our kitchen upper cabinets and our bedroom upper cabinets. I already made the kitchen ones just because I didn't know what I was doing, so I wanted to figure it out before I showed you guys. Um, but this is what they look like up. They are a shaker style door pretty much. They just have this nice edge trim around the outside, but other than that, it's just a flat cabinet door. We do not have a router, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made this without a router, because normally you would need one of those to do this. So yeah, if you wanna see how I made these, stick around and I'll show you how. I started by measuring out the width and height of the cabinet holes. They are different sizes. The one on the right's a little bit longer than the one on the left. Um, so I measured width and height and then I'm gonna add a half inch overhang on either side. So I've got my dimensions, I'm gonna go cut some wood. So I just cut the two back pieces for my cabinet doors. This is just quarter inch plywood and then I also cut some two inch strips of half inch plywood and this is what I'm going to use to create that trim detail around the edge of the cabinet doors. So I'm gonna use my miter saw on a 45 degree angle, cut these pieces so that they all fit together at the corners perfectly. That's 100% not necessary. You could just do straight cuts. I just like the look of the angle and then I'll put them all together. So this is what they look like after all the cuts have been made. I'm just going to sand down any of the rough edges where I cut the wood and then I'm going to attach everything. One hour later. So I just let the glue dry on this door for about an hour. Now I am just going to do one final step and add some screws through the edge pieces, through the back, um, so that you don't see them on the door face. They are half inch screws, so they'll go most of the way through, but not the entire way through. Um, and that is just to add one extra layer of, you know, grip to hold these on since we aren't using a router for this project. And just in case the wood expands or contracts at all and the glue can't hold it, these screws will definitely hold it. So the glue is doing most of the work. The screws are just there as a bonus. So yeah, those are our super simple cabinet doors. Um, if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty great. We are going to wait to install these until we are ready to paint everything, um, just because it'll be a lot easier to paint our cabinets without the doors and to paint the doors when they're not attached to the cabinets. So if you want, leave us a comment what color you think we should paint all the cabinets in our bus and we'll see who guesses right. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Love you.